morning everybody. 1st of April 2020. Wednesday I believe, I never know what day it is. Um, and we're at, a little bit further up on Russell Beach today and you can see it's about half past ten as I'm filming this. And there's still quite a few cars. The police have been down yesterday. Please, please, when the sun comes back out, just don't come down here in your car. It's not necessary. It's cold. <coughs> I think this might be a quick job this morning. But nonetheless, we shall walk across the pebbles. Interesting that um, there's not as much dog walk either. So obviously, the, the le less people are walking the dogs, and more people are picking it up. Oh, it's cold. I think they said it's going to be cold this weekend, didn't they? I can't quite remember what they said on weather forecast. Do you know, I put weather forecast on television and I stand and look at it and I see a full forecast and I have got no idea what they've said. This is um, interesting. Big, big blob of clay that's been see they've been washed up or exposed if anybody lives in these parts you'll know that most people have got quite clay soil in the gardens um, and when they do bore samples for sea walls and various other engineering projects um, they can track where the clay is under the beach Oh, sea glass, sea glass alert. Are you ready? Are you ready? There's a green piece there. Going down, going down to pick it up with my super duper adapter gloves. I've got really weird, in a really weird index finger. I'm not quite sure why. I, I struggle using my um, touch screen on my phone at the best of times with it. Um, but for some reason, these gloves that have got the sort of metallic thread on the end of the finger, I just can't use them at all. So I thought, right, monkey, I'll, I'll do an adaptation. So I've got the, I've got an odd one. <laughs> I've got um, <clears throat> just one odd blue glove. So I thought I'll cut the finger out, and then I can at least have a warm hand instead of wearing fingerless ones. And Five cold fingers. So, very quiet down here this morning, as it should be. Quiet and cold. Still, the the sea's still quiet. I'm sure I did hear him say on the weather that it was going to get windy. Oh, what joy! As if it's not bad enough, have it? Be stuck inside, and instead we've got to listen to the wind whirling as well. You know what they say? It's not, we've always got plenty of wind at Cleveland. I'll let you make your own conclusions about that, however you see fit. Can you see as we stood here? I'm just going to go across this shorter bit of ground. I'm hoping there's not a great big pole at the other side. Um, but as we stood here, we're kind of in the middle of that sandbank and you can see, comes the finger, you can see how it curves like that. So at this end and at this end, this is where you get your channels filling in when the tide comes in to cut people off. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's dry on the other side. Usually when I come up to a groin, I end up with a puddle like that and a 300 yard hike around it. So, quite artistic actually, aren't they? Quite photogenic. You see lots of pictures on Facebook of um, artistically posed groins with barnacles and see what you on them. You know what they say? There's no such thing as the wrong way. 
leather, just the wrong clothes. Which reminds me of um, an early Marine Conservation Society beach clean that our group did in, well it's an annual event that takes place in September every year. And it was one of the first ones that we'd done and we'd organised it because the Marine Conservation Society run it for the same week um, in September each year and as I say it takes place everywhere. So <laughs> so we'd organised it and wouldn't you know it um, threw it down. So People just wanted to carry on beach cleaning, so we carried on beach cleaning. And I got me um, sort of thigh length, proper outdoor waterproof coat on. And I got so wet, I was dripping right down to my underwear. I had to come home. Unfortunately, we've got like a bubble in our back garden. Um, where the door is into the garden. Um, so I had to go outside, so wet, I had to go outside into the garden where nobody could see me and take my jeans off and my socks and everything and just put them straight in the washer. I was just so wet. I bought waterproof trousers after that. Anyway, we've come up to the rock. Oh, I've just walked through a channel. Um, we've come up to the rock groin. So I thought it might be interesting to have a close up look at this while I'm stood here. Um, this is has got a practical engineering purpose built obviously to stabilise the beach and reduce the way that the sand moves about so much. Um, and it's built out of limestone which when I hear limestone I immediately think the kind of stone that you use to make a rockery in your garden. But I did learn when I worked up at Russell on the the, the sea defences that have just been finished that limestone comes in all kinds of different hardnesses I walk down here and then you can see different bits um, and the limestone that she used for these is knocking on for as hard as granite and in fact up at Russell it's limestone mixed with granite on, uh, in fact that looks like a bit of granite um, on that sea wall <laughs> Um, is it granite or is it concrete? Can't tell. Um, so you, you immediately think it's a it's a soft stone, but actually it's not. It's quite it's quite hard and it, it erodes really slowly. It must be granite. Is it granite? Does anybody know what that is? I can't tell whether it's granite or limestone. We've got any geologists watching, Russ? There's quite a few of them. I thought at first it might be a piece of concrete that they cast, but there's, there's too many bits. There's another one there. It's different anyway. So these rocks are put in, as you can see for the one, from the ones that have been underneath the beach that are really white, like these, they've, they've been covered up predominantly and these storms in February have washed the sand away so they're sort of beautifully clean and scoured but the ones that are in the tidal zone that get covered every day are green and they're covered in algae and seaweed um, there's not much in the way of pockets in these um, but if you've got grandkids and you like that kind of thing you've probably been exploring in the cracks and crevices. No, I say the would have done. Um, and you get little pools like this as well that form around the bottom. Um, no, when I was a kid you used to see shrimps and things in little pools of water. I suppose it's the wrong weather for shrimps because it's so cold. Um, but they're quite interesting. So there you go, that's today's rock 
pooling session. Rock pooling with Jane. What's that? Oh, this is what Terry had been on about. You know, yesterday I'd been on about um, barnacle, um, no, not barnacles, honeycomb worm reefs on the beach. This is what they are. Um, and one of our beach cleaners had been on about this a, a, a few few weeks ago and we'd last on an event and he said he'd seen reefs forming on the groin and that's what that's what we were talking about and you can see that it's full of let me just take my glove off I need two fingers for this you can see that it's full of holes um, where the little worms have been in their little burrow and how they formed a literally a reef and that's what forms on the beach but because on the beach it's flat it's usually like I said it's usually where that dark line is it's underneath that because the beach is flat it collects obviously sand and, and mud and what not above it so you, you can't see it quite as clearly small eh, lot. well 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 I don't think I've ever been on the beach as much as I have this last couple of weeks normally I've not got time I'm usually dashing about like a proverbial um, very interesting to see what you find so I'm, um, I'm enjoying this while I can so that's our lovely beach on a cold 1st of April. You could almost be forgiven for thinking that this whole coronavirus thing is a, is a twisted April Fool joke gone wrong. Because it's, uh, I don't think you could have made it up if you'd have tried. And then you can see, no you can't, yes you can. Um, Mary Shell is there just at the side of the cafe which is at the back of the groin so I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you tomorrow same time, same place, 11 o'clock have a good day and stay safe everybody toodaloo